Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I'm going to discuss how I manage my lab, how I keep uh, 35 computers up and running about 100% of the time uh, with uh, new and fresh uh, images. The images uh, I have on these computers it comes from a single image that I maintain and I keep up to date. I can re-image uh, all 35 computers in about 10 minutes, uh, just enough time to walk around, turn each one on, and set up for restore. Uh, this has been a huge time saver for me. Otherwise, you're battling uh, problems with each computer, and my particular lab is a computer repair lab, along with uh, uh, P uh, PC video game design, an HTI class. Uh, the, the computers, uh, the students have complete administrative rights for all the computers, so they can make any change uh, they want. And they need this uh, privilege or administrative privilege in order to complete the labs because uh, the requirements for the labs uh, is the same as if you were a tech uh, maintaining and uh, restoring a computer. So these students need to have uh, access to, to everything on the Windows XP. This is a high school lab, so there's uh, some special challenges because you always have a few students that are trying to get around anything that you do. But again, uh, using an image in a restore process allows me to bring, bring all 35 computers back to an original configuration uh, that keeps these computers running in their optimum uh, condition. Now, as these computers boot, you can notice on the screen here, I've got Windows uh, XP Professional or I have Microsoft Windows. Uh, it automatically defaults to the Windows XP Professional, but for maintenance, I can select uh, Microsoft Windows. Come into my second menu here. If you'll notice, uh, I've got four options. First is just go to the DOS prompt if I need to. Second is clear password. Uh, students are able to set passwords and if a student sets a password and leaves the classroom, I can quickly clear it. All I do is I take the SAM file, Security Accounts Manager, and replace it with the one in the repair folder. Windows has provided this uh, as a maintenance uh, facility for, for easily clearing passwords. Uh, we'll discuss this in another segment. Uh, this right here is my backup. Uh, if, if I need to make changes to a particular desktop, I can go ahead and back up and save those changes to my image. And then here's my restore. This is what I use to restore the computer back to its original uh, configuration that I've selected. Now, uh, if I select backup, I'll go ahead and enter that. Backup goes to uh, Norton Ghost and uh, begins a backup uh, procedure, taking uh, the entire uh, Windows XP partition, which on this computer is the first logical partition. And you can see it's going to take uh, about three minutes in order to back this up. So we'll go ahead and uh, let it back up, and then I'll show you the restore next. Windows, uh, or Norton Ghost, is a, is a great product. Uh, the reason I use it, the reason I like it so much, is I can run it at the DOS command line. And oftentimes, the problems that you face, especially running a lab with over 35 computers, is some of the computers, uh, the software can get uh, so corrupted that uh, Windows won't even boot anymore. And in order to provide a quick restore, I do my all my restores using DOS, and DOS is in my first partition. And that usually is protected and doesn't get corrupted. So in the worst case scenario, if even uh, my DOS environment gets corrupted, I can reboot my computers and restore them using the CD. I've uh, stripped down uh, most of the unnecessary software within Windows, such as the keyboards, the languages, and I've been able to compress the image down to less than 700 megabytes, which allows me to do a complete restore just using the CD. This has also been very helpful. And since I have my images uh, there between five and 600 megabytes, they, they restore these computers fairly quickly. And I'll show you that in, the, in just a minute as we finish up the, the backup. I also have another uh, DVD that I've created that has several images on the DVD. And what I can do is I can just boot a computer 
from the DVD and then select an image that I want to put onto the computer. And it could be uh, several different operating systems, Windows 98, 2000, 2000 server, 2003 server, 2008 server, Windows XP, Windows Vista, uh, Windows 7. You can put just about any uh, combination of images on a DVD because the DVD will hold uh, a little bit more than 4 gigabytes, so it gives you a lot of room. And it also becomes a great tool if a, if a student needs a different kind of configuration, different operating system. It's, it's easy to install that very quickly. It takes uh, less than five minutes to install a new operating system. Just about done. Two seconds. Now, once uh, we do our backup, the computer is set to go ahead and, and re restart. So you can see here that uh, it defaults back to Microsoft Windows Professional for the startup, and then we'll automatically begin to start. So I'm going to go back to the uh, Microsoft Windows, and you'll see here's my menu selection, and I'm going to use the restore this time, and I'll be restoring from the image. Now I've just updated that image, but uh, you can see here the restore is about two and a half minutes. I'm running this inside of a virtual environment. Uh, normally it runs about a minute uh, on my restores. And this is taking just a little bit longer. But you can see it, it, it uh, completes the task fairly quickly. But again, my image is, uh, uh, when it's initially compressed, it's about 600 megabytes. After it's uncompressed, it's probably closer to a, closer to a gig. But still, it's fairly small. So it does uh, restore fairly quickly. And we got another minute here, so I'll take a break. That concludes uh, this segment. Uh, we're going to see the uh, Windows reboot itself. It uh, automatically defaults back to a, a reboot, and then Windows will start up. Uh, one of the one of the uh, things that I've added to this, or next uh, next segment, uh, we'll we'll show you some of the uh, command lines uh, for for Ghost Windows uh, or Norton Ghost. The, one of the modes I use is the clone mode, this dash clone, and then you can do either a complete load or what's called a pload. A pload is just a partition uh, load which all it does is it loads a single partition instead of the whole hard disk. Also, we can do a partition dump, or we can dump the whole, the whole hard disk into a single file. That's it for now. Next segment, uh, we'll talk about the command line and clone. Thank you very much. Bye.